Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. I'm Miss Duncan again. I'm here for day two with our foundations lesson for today. Um, what I want us to do first is I want us to have a little warm up um, with our a large formation grid that we have. So what I want you to take out for me, if you can, is your large formation grid that looks like this, like we talked about yesterday. Take that out for me, please, <clears throat> and have it on the table in front of you or somewhere around you so that you can pick that up whenever you need it here in a few minutes. All right, first thing I want you to do I want you to stand up, okay, stand up nice and tall, and I want you to wiggle your arms out like this. Wiggle, 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 get those wiggles out this morning. Wake your arms up, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna move one of your arms with me today to practice our lines on our large formation grid, okay? So now, take out one arm. Okay, take out one arm, but maybe the arm that you write with, okay? Miss Duncan writes with her right arm. So I'm gonna take out my right arm and I'm gonna hold it out straight like a pencil, like this. Hold it out straight like a pencil. Don't bend it, okay? Because it's not gonna work correctly if we bend it like this. This is kind of lazy, right? I want you to straighten out your arm like a pencil. Now, I want you to have two fingers out like this, like you're pointing with two fingers, okay? Now, we're going to warm up. I'm gonna see if you remember what the lines are, what they're called on our large formation grid. Okay, are you ready? Here we go, straight as a pencil. Point to the skyline. And you can point to the screen with me as you're looking at my large formation grid. I'll bring it a little closer. There we go. All right. Straight as a pencil again. Point to the plane line. Good. Okay. Point to the grass line. Good. Straight as a pencil. Point to the worm line. The very bottom line. Remember that worm is down there at the bottom underneath the grass. Good. Now, what I want you to do, wiggle that arm out. Wiggle that arm out and get it going again. Okay, so now that we remember our lines, Skyline, our plain line, our grass line, and worm lines. We're going to move on to our next part. Today, you're going to learn how to write with your dry erase marker and your board. So, we're going to use that large formation grid, like I asked you to pull out earlier. We're going to use this to write on. Okay? So, I want you to take out your board, have it in front of you. And I want you to take out your marker, your dry erase marker. It looks kind of like Miss Duncan's. It may be a different color. It may be the same color. Um, it still works the same. Okay. We're gonna learn how to sit correctly at our table, okay, or wherever you are at home. We're gonna learn how to sit correctly and how to hold our marker and take care of it, okay? I always tell my students, I always tell them every year that this is like a baby and they have to take care of it just like a baby. Because if you don't, well, the marker's not gonna really work anymore. It's, it's just not gonna be good, okay? So, we don't smash our markers. We don't, we, we don't leave the lid off of them to dry them out, all that stuff. We'll talk about that in a minute. The first thing I want you to do though this picture up here at the top is showing us how to sit correctly at our table. I want you to scoot up, feet flat on the ground, or the floor. Scoot up to your table, feet flat, and hands on the table. Okay? 
Now you're ready. I want you to put your board or your large formation grid, put it flat in front of you on the table. We're not writing yet, so don't open that marker. Wait for me. Now you're ready. I want you to take your marker. I want you to take the lid off for me. You're gonna have to twist it. I'll get a little closer so you can see. Twist it, and on the bottom of our marker, there's a little spot for us to put our lid. Take your lid, poke it on the bottom, because now we don't have to lose the lid to our marker, and it won't dry out. Okay, we have a little special place for us to keep our lid. So pop your lid on the very bottom of your marker. Now it's ready to write. I want you to take your fingers, they look like pinchers, your thumb and your index finger, pinchers. Take your pinchers and hold your marker like so. And your other fingers down at the bottom are gonna act like a table and they help rest that marker on top of that table. So now you're holding your marker like this, not like this, that's not how we write. Not like this and not like this. Take your pinchers, hold them at the end of the marker and rest your fingers underneath like a table. Now we're ready to write. You should be scooted up to your table, feet flat and your marker ready. Okay, now we're gonna practice making some lines and we're gonna practice those line names that are on our large formation grid. What you are using is your board you have at home. Okay, I'm gonna write on mine so that you can see it and you're gonna write along with me. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Point your marker to the skyline. The very top line. Go down to the grass line. Make a line and stop. See, is that easy? We went to the skyline, then all the way down to the grass line, and we stopped. Okay, you ready for the next one? All right. Now I want you to point your marker to the plane line. I want you to go all the way down to the worm line, like this, and stop. Very good. Now, let's do one more thing, and I'm gonna make it a little tricky. We're going to point to the plane line this time. Point to the plane line, and go down to the grass line and stop. Okay. Very good. Your lines should look similar to mine and if they don't look exactly the same, it's okay. All right? Now, I want you to point to the skyline again and go down to the grass line again and stop. Good. And now what I want you to do is I want you to point to the skyline, go down to the grass line, and wait, go back up to the skyline and stop. Very good. Boys and girls, when we start learning our letters, which tomorrow for day three, you're gonna be learning your first letter that we're going to be writing. So as you learn your letters, we're going to be writing our letters on our large formation grid like this. We'll be saying, start on the skyline, go down to the grass line, go back up to the skyline. We'll be saying different things, 
okay? So you have to listen carefully to know how to do it correctly, all right? I think you did a great job today. I can't wait to hear it in our next Zoom meeting that we have, okay? Now, to close our markers, we have to be very, very careful. I want you to take the lid off of the bottom and put it on the top. Now, we're not gonna leave it like this because it's not closed all the way. It'll dry completely out and then you won't have one anymore. So we're gonna take our fingers and push till we hear a click. When you hear the click, that means the marker is closed all the way down and it won't dry out. Now, every year I have students that take their lid and try to smush it down onto their marker and you know what happens? That lead at the top, the ink and everything, smushes down into the marker and they can't use it. So be careful when you put the lid on, don't smush it around, just push till you hear the click, okay? I believe you guys did an awesome, awesome job today. You learned how to sit at your seat correctly at your table to scoot up with feet flat on the floor and how to hold your marker correctly. We practice our skyline, our plane line, our grass line, and our worm line together again, okay? And we learn how to write our lines correctly so that we can get ready for our first letter tomorrow. Okay, can't wait to see you again. Bye guys.